on the road again. Feels so good to be on the road again. Got that feeling I'm gonna love it here in Stardew Valley. Welcome on in, everybody. Welcome to Stardew. Great to have you. Glad that you are here with me. The bus has stopped. Oh, how lovely and glorious that is. Hello, you must be Hill. Hi, Robin. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. Sure thing. I have to zoom in the UI just a little, maybe? This feels a little bit zoomed out. Oh, bluegrass. This is Bluegrass Farm. Kind of reminds me of the forest farm. This is pretty great, actually. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath the mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Thanks, Robin. And here we are, your new home. I wonder if that fence is permanent. Oh, the new farmer. Hey, Lewis. Grandpa says hi. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Oh, there's smoke coming out the chimney, at least. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude. Don't listen to her, Hill. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied, so you buy one of her house upgrades. <gasps> How dare you speak truth to me. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you want to explore town and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Okay, will do. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just put it in the box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Well, thank you so much, friends. Do 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 do. Oh, there was a rooster. It kind of sounded like it got a little cut off there, but I didn't press a button. Yes, indeed. Let's grab that. We got some hay. Hey, can I move some of this around already? I think let's just flip-flop these. All right, let's check the weather. Weather report for tomorrow. Clear and sunny fortune teller today. Neutral. Living off the land. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting for your harvest. Okay, great. Oh, we even got a chair by the fireplace. Oh, yeah. This is living the life. Okay. Out into the farm we go. Wait. We didn't, we didn't get any seeds? We got hay instead? Oh, boy. What have we gotten ourselves into? All right. Well, uh, I guess we'll just try and get some mixed seeds from these bushes, I suppose. Um... And uh, we'll have to go feed the chickens. Although I'm not sure how we're going to afford to feed the chickens, quite honestly. Uh, we have a week's worth of food, basically. And uh, that's it. It's not a lot, it's not a lot of food. Uh, but on the upside, they are here. And uh, that's lovely. How do I... How do we get in there? Oh, it's up there. At the top. I see. Okay. And here's the uh, greenhouse. All right. Oh yeah. Before we get too excited, where's the you? Where's the like control settings here? Uh, sound graphics. How do I zoom in? Uh. Well, we can make this bigger at least. Aha. Um. Maybe right there is good. Yeah, that, that looks normalish. 
Well, I guess the animals can technically eat the grass, right? They don't they don't would have to feed them every day. Um question, can we get up there somehow? I would imagine there's got to be a way to, right? No? Yeah, where's grandpa at? I don't It's a new farm layout, friends. I don't know what I'm doing. The joy of of new things, not knowing what the heck's going on. Well, it is 8.30. That's that's great. Uh, we're going to need to uh, chop down some trees here pretty soon. Get some foraging experience so we can start getting seeds. Yeah, that's true. I did see one. Oh, yeah. See, I can't even get it. Even if we even if we hit it right now, we won't, we won't get that, will we? Yeah, because we don't have level one. Okay. Well, well. Now, I know some of the skills and where things are sort of got a little changed. Um, but I also don't remember offhand uh, what those sort of changes were. Something to consider. Right, let's... Can we just very carefully then remove some items from in here? That I don't think we really want in a chicken coop pen area. There we are. And then we can get rid of the rest of this. And we're gonna have to go get some to go get some seeds here in a minute. Yes, very good. Yes, very good. And we are gonna chop this all the way down. This is a really cool farm layout. I'm liking it. There we are. Another another bush there. And boom. Do we get to name the chickens? Oh, they're just little babies. <gasps> little polka. Aw. And dot. Polka dot. That's so hilarious. Oh, I love it. There you go, friends. What is this? Can I... I don't have a silo, right? So I can't, yeah. Uh, just checking, game. Just checking. Making sure, you know, that we were on the same page there. Okay, okay. Right, well, before the day gets much longer, let's go into town. Oh, here's a problem. We need wood. So we can build a chest first. All right, we got to chop down a couple trees real quick. Because I need enough wood to build a chest. Perfect. Chest. Excellent. Oh, uh, well, here. And then we'll just toss this over. That's fine. There we are. Hooray! Just put everything in there that we don't need right now. And then let's reorganize all of this because this is not, this is not okay. Um... Yeah, that's that's just not it's not right. It's not right. Um Yeah, let's I guess I'll put that there. Muscle muscle memory is gonna is gonna get to me on this one, I think. Okay. Right then, into town. Ooh, forage, yes, beautiful, amazing. We have more forage? No. But it's a good start. We got one forage. And where there's one forage, there will be more. Hello, Harvey. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. Hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. Okay. Harvest an egg. Three out of eight people. Ooh, it's going to be a hot minute. Do we get money for that? Maybe. Hello, more people we don't know. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move. The spring is lovely. Hello, you must be Hill, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Caroline? Let's go with Caroline this playthrough. We'll say Caroline. My husband runs the general store. You met my daughter Abigail, the one with the purple hair. 
Uh, no, not yet, but now I did. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving on to that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring the fields by myself. Hey, Mr. Hill, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. A uh, little agriculture could really inject new life into the local economy. All right. Well, um, wait. What? Do we do something backwards? Why is? Why are these cheaper? Okay, well that's very interesting. I I was under the assumption that all the seeds would cost the same, but they're also somewhat cheaper. So that's cool, I guess. Got a couple beans. Uh, I don't think I care about any of that stuff. Oh, a dehydrator. What does that do? Place five pieces of fruit or edible mushrooms inside to dry them. Huh. Okay. And then I guess we'll go with that. Let's see. Uh, two of those, one of those, two of those. Okay, there we go. So we have some seeds, and we have no money. Right then, back to the farm. Gotta go. Gotta go get our farming on. Go plant. So how many? What do, we have? Ten, twenty, twenty-three. Seeds? Okay. Now, do we plant all of them, trusting that the birds won't just eat everything? Uh, right away? Or... Or what? Uh, it's a good question, actually. It's a good question. I'm not sure I know the answer, how far we want to push that. Three, four, five, and this will be enough for the parsnips. And I don't, normally you you have fifteen, right? And we have ten, so that's obviously not as many. And two more rows here. Okay, perfect, lovely. Put those there, and we'll put that here, like so. And then we've got some beans. Not, not so much for the crop purposes, but just, you know, so we've grown a little bit of everything. And then we should have some mix seeds. Which we will also get to planting. That's right. We are not limited to what we, can, what we can plant in this playthrough, friends. We can do everything. Uh, we're only limited by our lack of income. Which I don't think will be too much of a problem, really. Might have to run around and look for a little bit of forage here. And we are running low on the old energy there. Yes, I know, energy. I know. I see you. I see you. But we're good. We have finished that. Perfect. Now, uh, I think, though... Uh, goodness. I think we, we want to try to hold on to that forage, don't we? And let's look around the farm and see if we can't locate... Okay, there's the cave. Alright, here's a little, little watering uh, refill spot. That's nice. Got some more trees and stuff like that. Oh. Well, that's... That's very dangerous. Um... Oh. Oh. Alright, we didn't pass out. We're good. <laughs> wow, a giant tree! Hello. How are you today, friend? Oh, I should have brought the uh, the scythe down here. We could have cleared out a bunch of this stuff. Well, that's all right. I'm just looking to see if there's any obvious forage laying around that we can procure for ourselves here on day one. Hello, forage. Hello, hello, hello. Is any forage home? Maybe some wild onion, perhaps? Hmm, that would be good. We do like wild onion early in the game. 
helps us get some glorious energy right away. And it also does not appear that there's any here today, which is a real shame, actually. What a bummer. Okay. Well, every once in a while, there's a bit of forage over here. In the lower left part of the map. Hello, forage. Hello, anything? And that's a big nope there as well. Okay, well. Kind of an unfortunate forage day then, isn't it? There's a couple more places to check. Uh, we might run out of time before we get that far, but maybe not. We'll see. We'll see. Can we get inside here? Oh, 6 p.m. Okay. I thought my, maybe it was 7. I was wrong. I knew it was close. Back to the farm we go, to the maze that is the pathing currently. This is a very fun layout. Oh, there's some hardwood stumps in here. All right. I didn't really pay attention to those earlier, but good to know. Good to know. There is... Oh, that's the warp. Oh, imagine warping back somehow early, like you managed to just randomly find a a warp totem, and then, like, you're just stuck there because you have no energy, and you have to, like, you're forced to pass out. That'd be a real... <laughs> that'd be a real shame. It's also, it feels like something that would happen to me. Um, which is kind of funny. All right, Seb's over there. I don't see any forage. They're working up top to clear the blockage. Very good. Hey, Seb. No, oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town. Yeah, I don't. I don't really think he wants to be here. You know, I'm just. I'm just saying. Maru, Maru, come back. Nope, too slow. Uh, if only we had coffee. That would be something. Aha! A forage. Excellent. Another forage is ours. I claim this forage in the name of Hillhome. Well, I think tomorrow, as we look for forage, we will run around and we will break a bunch of those bushes. And hope that we get some more mixed seeds, because that really, I think, early on here will be the key to our success. Mixed seeds, the key to victory. Right, so is there anything on the beach that we can forage today? There's a couple of things, it looks like. And by a couple, I mean one. Okay. We found one item we could forage. I don't think that we killed enough trees uh, to level at all. Okay, great. Good job, Hillhome. Way to not be successful in this game. Be proud of yourself. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. It's not the end of the world. It's okay. We'll spend a little bit of time chopping down some trees tomorrow. If we have to, we'll eat this leek. I would prefer to find a second one first. Because I don't know what the community bundles are going to be. Uh, it's a mystery to you and to me and to everyone at the moment. So, can I quick stack anything? No. Alright, great. Perfect. I would love to plant this one seed. And I, I am just not sure if this is going to... How much do we have? We have six? Oh, it's going to be close. We have four. Two. <laughs> We're good. We're good. We made it. So that's the perfect amount of energy to have left. Two energy. Oh, that is a, that is a great amount. Weather report for tomorrow. Rain all day. Day three rain always. Neutral spirits. Excellent. Oh, we got mail. Just got back from a fishing trip. Come see me. I got something for you. Thanks, Willie. I will be sure to do that because that's going to be the key to victory. Just like it always is. We'll go fishing and we will catch something. 
I don't know what, but something. And then we will spend a lot of time fishing, I'm guessing. Yes, indeed. Let's water all of the crops for today. Look at this. They're growing everywhere. All right. Now then, let's clean up a little bit more on the farm. I'm going to get rid of a couple pathing situations here that have arisen. And we should probably go say hello to our, our good friends, the chickens. We also need to not break grass right now if we can avoid it until... We can get a silo, and I'm not sure when that's going to be exactly. But it is something to keep in mind. So let's uh, let's chop down a few trees. Just to get that going on. And we need to keep some energy so that we can go fishing also. So let's just make sure we do that as well. Since we have zero extra money... Uh, pretty much that's how that's going to go until we get some eggs. Hello, chicken. Hello, chicken. Nice to see you today. I'm going to trust that you're just eating the grass so I don't have to worry about you. That's my hope anyway. That is a lot of chopping. really should look up and memorize at some point how many trees you need to chop down to get to level one. You've got some new ideas to sleep on. I'm guessing what that means is that we have upgraded to level one foraging. I'm going to assume that is the case and we're just going to wander off the farm now. Wait, we're going to clear off a little bit more down here so it's just easier to get in and out of the farm. I think that's important to do. Like I said, we don't want to use all of our energy, but we definitely want to be able to get on and off the farm easily. Okay, and now it's time to just go clear some bushes. Clear some bushes and hope for mixed seeds. That's what we're up to. Oh, there is some forage there. More than glad to pick that up. Moving right along. So, friends, 1.6, what are you playing? What farm are you enjoying? Are you enjoying this new farm as well? Or did you pick one of your old favorites? I still think that my favorite farm is probably the forest farm. I have deep nostalgia for the forest farm. It is the first one that I played the game on many years ago when it came out. And, uh, I, yeah, I think for that reason I would say it's my favorite. I will say, though, I, I have tried pretty much every farm now. And I don't think I, I really dislike any of them. Some of them are more difficult to do everything on. You know, like it's harder to have a lot of animals on the hilltop farm, for example. Or the river farm than it is on you know, like the standard farm or on uh, the wilderness farm. I mean, so there are some there are some challenges there, but uh, nothing that's I don't know. Sometimes you just want to change a pace, you know. You just want something a little different, and uh, it's great to have those farms as an option for that. Ooh, there is some more forage. Hello there. Well, we do have six more seeds. That's lovely. Uh, there's still more to clear out. There's always this row right here. And there's always some right up here that I that I clear out pretty early on, just because otherwise they grow a lot and it it bothers me. All right, let's go see Willie while we still have time. Um, we're going to have to run back to the house first and then try and get down there by five. I think we have enough time. We just have to drop off a couple of things. 
Uh, I don't want to go with a full inventory. Let's make sure we get that done. Yeah, it, yeah we should have plenty of time. Do I have anything to sell yet? Not really. Quick stack everything. Let's just real fast also plant these seeds. Lovely. That'll get us some more crops going, which we desperately need because we need money. Right. Uh, we're gonna put all that away because we're gonna we're just gonna go and get the fishing rod and fish. Fishing rod, come to me. I need your powers. I need <laughs> I need your fishes. That's what I need. I don't know what fish I need to keep, actually, so that's gonna be interesting too. With the remix, you know, center, you just you don't know what you got. You don't know what you need until you can get in the community center on what is it, like day five, right? So you just kind of have to store one of everything and uh, see how it goes. There we go. There's the event with Willy. Willy, what's up? Oh, enjoy that pipe, my friend. Ahoy there, son. I heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. Whoop. I'm still trying to unwind from a month on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Hey, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this fishing rod. You received a bamboo pole. Step. Sadness. There is good water here in the valley. All kind of fish. Oh, yeah. My shop's back open now, so uh, come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> well, that's what me old papa used to say anyway. Okay, Willie. Well, thanks so much. Appreciate the uh, kindnesses. Although, in some ways, it's a bit self-serving. Since you're like, hey, here's a fishing rod. Uh, come buy stuff. Look at that maximum cast of one character length away. Oh, the power. Can you feel the power, friends? You cannot fail this first one. Nope. Look at that perfect catch. Let's go. First catch. Sardine. All right. Well, we don't know if we need that uh, for anything, so. That's pretty cool. Oops. We lost our perfect bonus already. That's okay. An anchovy. The first time we caught one of those two. All right. Oh, a chest. All right, let's let's try and get that a little bit higher. There we go. So, what are we getting? The chest, huh? We're gonna find out. Gotta love the fishing chest. The best thing in the game. Please be an ancient seed. I would be so incredibly excited. Agency, go! Oh, mixed seeds. Well, you know, more plants are more plants. Uh, an ancient seed would have been pretty awesome, though. Can we just acknowledge that? I think we can. Boop. Yeah, you didn't fool me that time, game. Yeah, you didn't have the beep beep. Somewhere in the options, some of that changed, and I, I haven't looked at any of that yet, but that is something that has changed. There's more, some more uh, just options for all kinds of things. So that's fun. Alrighty. Got a lovely fish here. Sadly, not a perfect catch. We were close. Running a little low on energy already. Because we had to work and cut down all those trees. 
That was the problem. Oh, it's so hard to get perfects here at the beginning. I'd say until level three, that's really where I start to take off with it. Once you hit level three, you're like, okay, I think I can do this. Now, do we sell the fish or do we eat the fish? There's a question. I don't, I don't know. Oh, a Georgia. Nice. And uh, I think we will eat one sardine. 13 energy. Uh-oh, Willie's going to be mad at us. He's going to he's gonna break on through to the other side. Break on through to the other side. Hey, what's going on with your fishing pole there, Willie? That, that doesn't look right. I think it might be a little broken for you there, friend. Just saying. Either that or secretly uh, two fishing poles going, and that would be an amazing trick if I could learn that one. Yes, a perfect. A herring. Look at that, gold star. Gold star herring. Let's do this. I believe we can get one more gold starfish. That would be amazing. Just, uh, just stay here. No! We almost had it. A flounder! You're starting to feel exhausted. Lies! I feel very awake, in fact. How dare you say I feel exhausted? That is not okay. Whoop. Come on now. Give me that. Give me that fishy. Oh, we blooped already. Man. I do think we hit level two, though. All right. Uh, no, you know, I think we can eat one sardine. And we can do one more cast. I think. Maybe two. Might be able to do two. It'll be close. Oh, I was deceived. I really thought that fish was going to go like way, way to the top there. Excuse me, what are we catching right now? Something actually active? What is this? That's amazing. The flounder. You're starting to feel exhausted. You know, these things happen sometimes. Ah, don't don't lose the fish now. We got to catch every fish. That's the rule. I need all the fish. Thank you. Ooh, a halibut. Okay. Well, just for the sake of more fishing, um, well, we can sell that for more money though. Let's eat the regular sardine. Okay, one last cast for the day. Ooh, can we squeak in one more? We'll see. If we get a double, if we get like another flounder that's silver, uh, that's going to be an interesting debate. Do we, do we, do we eat it or do we move on with the day? I don't know. It's too many decisions. They're too hard to make. All right. I think that'll do as far as fishing goes for the day. Ah, there is this, though, and wha-bam! A lovely clam. Now, we do already have a clam, so we can sell this clam for, like, four gold. <laughs> Which is not a lot of gold, as you might, you know, anticipate, but uh, it's better than zero, so... That's good. Do we have any forage here? Well, up at the top. Nope. Okay. It was worth checking. It was worth looking into. Right. So what are we selling? Uh, let's sell you, you, and you, and you. And 
this newspaper that I don't need. Okay, great. And then in the chest, we can put all of this and we can organize. All right. Uh, just in case we find an artifact spot, I guess. Although I haven't seen any yet. I don't even know when they start appearing. Is that another one of those you need forage? Oh. That was dangerous filling that up, I guess. But it had to be done. Dodge all the things on the ground to get back up to the chest. There we are. I need those. I don't know what we're going to need tomorrow. So I'm just going to grab all the tools right now. And uh, just running up here for just a second and see if we have any forage. Yes, we do. Conveniently placed. Excellent. Oh, there's another one too. Nice. Hey, hey. That's what we like to find. Oh, it is already 10. Where does the time go when you're playing Stardew? It just kind of disappears, doesn't it? goes off into the the nebulous past and uh, it's just gone it disappears so very quickly well if there is any forage hopefully it will stand out and be very obvious for me because it's quite dark and uh, hard to see let's break this I know I know we're running low on energy I, I know Really, not a not a single new uh, new seed, huh? Hmm. Darn. I was kind of hoping for more mixed seeds there. That is a good spot to go to to try to get some early on. Nothing there either, huh? Well then, that was a shame all the way around in a lot of ways, wasn't it? We do have an extra. We do have an extra leek and horseradish now. Pretty solid. It is getting late. Can quick stack a lot of things. And uh, let's just hit the, uh, hit the old snoozer here. Go to sleep for the night. Yes. Level one foraging success. Trees sometimes drop seeds. Plus one axe proficiency. And we can make wild seeds for spring and field snacks. And we've also reached a level one fishing, plus one fishing rod proficiency, which we noticed pretty much as soon as that happened. And we made 159 gold. Yeah! The first money we have made on this farm. Excellent. Okay, everybody. What a great first episode that was. We'll see you next time. Take care.